uh, coming up live on Live Wire. We've got a great show for you today. We're going to be talking about fairs and festivals, a couple of festivals that are coming up, the things that you really need to go to. Um, uh, there's a electricity fair put on by SMUD. It's a family event. And they're also going to talk about uh, a senior project. Uh, it's a kind of a community event for people who have white, white hair. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to talk about the Healing Arts Festival, which has been going on for many years. And if you haven't been to it, there's some wonderful new things. There's some great presentations and musicians. And we're going to get you aware of what this is all about in just a couple of minutes. So stay tuned for an electric event, a live wire, right after this. You know, the Sacramento Metropolitan Utility District is kind of unlike a lot of other major cities with uh, u utilities um, in many ways, in, in how it was formed by the, the people, the people, and then also uh, the kinds of services that it provides for the people. And with me in the studio is Jacob Kaditz, who is the supervisor of the Energy Education and Technology Center, where you can learn to do some interesting things like this uh, card. You see the card, if you push the, uh, the little button there, you can, I don't know if you can get that close enough, but it's lighting up. The sun lights up. Mm -hmm. Come on, light up. Uh oh. I think I've screwed it up here. <laughs> there you oh, there go. it goes. Whoa. <laughs> So, Jacob, this is very interesting. I mean, there's so many uh, things that you seem to be offering here. Uh, classes for seniors, and um, what's this little guy? So this is a solar car, uh -huh. Ray. And you know, as you mentioned, SMUD is a nonprofit community-owned electric utility. So yeah. we put on all our resources for our, our customers for free. Well, we're educating folks about different things. And so this is something that we bring out to the schools. And uh, what we actually give them is this packet of gears and wheels. We give them this little motor here, mm. and we give them a solar panel, and that's it. And then what the students do with their teachers is they actually build little model cars like this, mm -hmm. and they have to put on the gears the right ratio, get the, uh, get the angle right for the sun, get adjusted, mm -hmm. and then we throw a race. And the students come out uh, from all over Sacramento, the whole entire region. We have multiple schools out, and they race each other. It's a really fun, friendly event. And they've learned about solar, and they race. And we give a little prizes away for folks that uh, win the races. And this is all free to the schools? This is all free to the schools. And this is one of the many things that we do, actually, at our school. So we do a whole bunch of other things. We have online lesson plans and videos. We do teacher trainings. We go out and do classroom presentations. Uh, we do a solar regatta. So you think this is cool. You should see our solar regatta, where we actually actually out there in with these big boats that the students actually, we give them big solar panels, uh -huh. and they go out and race these boats out at Rancho Seco Lake. We have high school teams and college teams that come out and do that. And again, it's all about helping our customers learn about renewable energy and energy efficiency, uh, help keep our rates low. Energy efficiency and the energy that we, uh, system that we do have now. That's right, our electrical energy system, that's right. Wow. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> I, I run this uh, business and uh, it rents uh, spaces. And I, I always go crazy when they have the air conditioning running and the door open yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a hundred, a hundred uh, degree day. Yeah. And so I go in and I say, see if you close the door, the cold air stays in. Otherwise, it takes a walk out the door. Well, you know, most businesses are actually trying to sell you more of what they're producing, right? Yes. But because SMUD is a community-owned electric utility, we're really here to help serve our community, and we're trying to help our customers keep their electric uh, bills low. So we actually put on classes for, residential con co for our residential customers to help them understand how to actually keep their bills low. And one of the things we do talk about is, uh -huh. if you're running your HVAC, don't keep your door open, of course. Yep. Um, put some weather stripping around your door. So Absolutely. we actually have a class uh, that teaches people how to put in weather stripping, how to see if their weather stripping is not uh, adequate to keep the 
hot air out and the cool air in, and then actually how to physically go in and improve that we uh, weather stripping. So well, I need that class too. You know, I've tried it with staple gun. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> stapling of that. And so this class actually is hands-on. We actually have some door frames out there, and our customers get to come in and actually try to put in caulking and put in weather stripping. So it's a really fun class. Your customers can learn all about it. Your viewers can see all our classes at smud.org slash learn, forward slash learn. Oh, good. Learn. Thank you for saying that. Our whole calendar is on there. Uh, they can check out all our many classes. So um, different ways to help lower energy bills, evaluate new technologies, and that type so of thing. So also being a senior, I want to know, what uh, uh, you have to register for the senior class. Yeah. So, so this, so we've got for all our classes are free, but you do have to register register at smud.org slash learn. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a big event that we're throwing Saturday, September 29th. Oh, oh um, okay. Yeah, and that is from that's eight, the electricity fair. Uh, except, well, the senior event is on the 29th, mm -hmm. um, and that is uh, from eight to eight to noon. And, oh, got it. And so that's a, a fair that we're bringing in senior uh, service organizations to help uh, provide some information about resources for seniors. We're mm -hmm. going to be there talking about ways that seniors can keep their homes comfortable and reduce their energy costs. Mm -hmm. We also have some amazing lighting technicians that will be talking about ways to make their homes more safe and uh, comfortable for seniors with the aging eye. Uh, so it's going to be a, a great event, and we're also serving breakfast. But we do want to make sure that folks that come need to register because we are serving breakfast. Right. Get online, smud.org, slash learn, and they'll be able to register for that, and we'd love to have everyone there. Okay, and we've got it up there, uh, smud.org, slash forward slash forward slash learn. learn. That's right. So the other event that you're talking about, the electricity fair, that's actually this Saturday. Oh. You do not have to register for that. Uh, and that is up at the Folsom Powerhouse. Uh, it's, uh, we do that uh, this event in uh, partnership with the California State Parks and it is our annual electricity fair. So this is a family event where families get to come and get hands-on fun experience with electricity. Um, like these things? Yeah, kind of like these things, right? We have like lots of different activities. Kids get to make things and take them away. Um, we have little solar projects. Uh, and we, and, and the, one of the best things about this is this is an actual state park that was one of the first electric production units in the West Coast, and it used to serve Sacramento, a small part of what is mm -hmm. now Sacramento. Mm -hmm. But the large turbines and all the infrastructure is in there, so you're going to get um, uh, tours, personal tours with oh, docents to check out that space, as well as you know, kind of get to learn a little bit about electricity and engineering and science. So it's a sure. fun event. Imagine people who came over in Conestoga wagons uh, lived to a period of time where they're they're looking at these huge turbines making electricity to light their homes. You know, th whenever I go over there, it just it's amazing to me like how. You know, so long ago, we were able to bring these giant turbines across by ship and ship them up and build the amazing infrastructure that we have now. Um, yeah. it just, it's mind boggling to me. Yeah, but it it's really so is. super fascinating. It is. It's a fascinating thing. And uh, so we can always learn more about um, how our lives are bettered by electricity, that's for sure. Absolutely. Good. And so if I'm a senior and I go to the uh, SMUD Customer uh, Service Center, uh, on 6301 S Street mm -hmm. on September 29th. September 29th, yeah. yes. What will happen? So you'll show up. Uh, we'll get some breakfast, of the course. Breakfast part, and right. then we've got, got uh, a bunch of uh, tables out there that will have some different service providers that mm -hmm. will uh, help, you know, let our seniors know about what resources are in the community to support them. Mm -hmm. We'll have a few different talks throughout the day. We'll have experts from SMUD that'll be able to um, share information about ways, again, they can save energy, seniors mm -hmm. can save energy, or anybody can save energy, really. Uh, and then some resources that SMUD has to help seniors specifically, again, around lighting. Uh, we have a few little giveaways. I don't want to kind of spoil it, but if you show up, we have some cool giveaways for, uh, for our seniors mm -hmm. out there that you might be excited about. Mm -hmm. um, SMUD has, an, uh, like I said, we have this amazing lighting specialist that has done some studies that help uh, 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 folks that are aging figure out ways to be safe. So, for instance, um, one of the things that is really interesting is that when you get up at night, right, if you have bright lights that can um, uh, 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 open up your eye or your eye will actually close to the, the amount of light, and so then when you flip the light off, particularly seniors, but anybody really, has a harder time seeing, so then that increases the chances of falls and trips. So uh, we actually have uh, suggestions about different types of lights that you can use that will, won't, will keep your eye nighttime adapted, uh -huh. so that when you get up to the, from your bed to use the bathroom, then you come back, you can actually see where you're going, and that reduces fall. So we'll have information like that. At That's that good there. stuff. Mm -hmm. That's good information for seniors. You have a video that you brought. Let's have a look at yeah, that, take a look. and then we can uh, talk about it. We'll, uh, we call it, uh, decompose it was when we come back.
Okay, let's have a look at this video from SMUD about their education programs. We are connected. Our homes, our hearts, our community, your community. For over 70 years, we've been right here with you, powering what you love. We are your community-owned, not-for-profit electric company. SMUD, powering forward together. Oh, you know, uh, when the program began, I uh, mentioned uh, about how, how uh, SMUD might be different from a lot of utility districts and that you want to talk a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, again, SMUD is a community-owned nonprofit electric yeah. utility, right? So everybody that's a SMUD customer gets to vote for a board of directors. Uh, and our board of directors is sort of like a, like a city council almost, and they set the policy for SMUD. So when you vote and you get active in, your, uh, in electing a SMUD board representative, you have a voice in how SMUD operates in our community. And our board of directors will set a series of directives. Uh, and actually, that's why we do our educational programs, a big part of it, because our board of directors has said, hey, it's important for us to go out and support the community, educate our community about um, electrical energy use and how to save money. Uh, and so from that board of directive, we created these educational programs that go out, help our residential customers, help our commercial customers, and then get out into the schools and teach them about energy and efficiency. And really, schools are a great way also, too. We're training the next generation of energy leaders, and those students, when they learn this, are bringing it home to their parents as well. So uh, it's just a great community asset. Great. Jacob, thank you so much for coming to talk to me about this and talking about SMUD and showing me about all of these wonderful things that happen in the school. I like this. Yeah, well, thank yeah, you so much for nice, having me. Very nifty jet. Yep. Okay, well, we're going to take a short pause for the cause. We're going to be back after some important messages with Livewire, and we're going to learn about this uh, wonderful event that's coming up, uh, and it's called the Healing Arts Festival. It's been around for a while. You have to come and have a uh, just stay right where you are, actually, or get something, uh, and uh, come back, and we'll talk about the Healing Arts Festival right after this. Every year, tens of thousands of young people experience homelessness. If you or someone you know needs help, 1-800-RUNAWAY can provide support and connect you to the right resources. Together, we can end youth homelessness. So there you are, it's flu season. And you're over 65, like me. You might be forgetting something serious. <gasps> Your annual flu shot. The flu can be life-threatening, especially if you have chronic conditions like diabetes and heart disease, which can worsen with the flu. The immune system weakens with age. Ask about a flu vaccine option made specifically for us. Visit ncoa.org flu to learn more and talk to your doctor about vaccine options for people 65 and older. <laughs> There's a quiet battle happening on our streets. Pedestrians are acting indestructible. And drivers act like they own the road. They're both wrong. Be aware, be alert. Pedestrians don't have armor. A message from the California Office of Traffic Safety. with Live Wire, I'm Ray Tatter, and with me is Prasanna Hankins, who is um, the leader of the, the Healing Arts Festival. We were walking down the street one day and you thought, I think I'm going to heal people. <laughs> well, actually, the Healing Arts Festival has been around for 19 years, so I have not oh, yeah, had the were. privilege of owning it mm. all 19 years, I but yeah, I, I came in um, about four years ago and... Uh, started making my mark on it as well. So. Good, 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 yeah. good. Actually, it's kind of interesting. It's almost like um, uh, an art museum in a way in that you have to curate 
the people who take part in it for the greater effect. So mm -hmm. it's you assessing the elements of whatever creative or s spiritual impact that people make on the rest of us. Right, now we have a really good uh, spiritual and metaphysical community here. It's really large and we do yes. get people who come from, we've had people from out of the country and from other states as well. So um, sometimes it's international, some, but a lot of local, which is really nice. And everyone's small business, so it's really um, supporting the community in that way as well. But we, we've tried different things. All of our readers have been um, have given me a reading so that I can make sure that they're they're good readers and, mm -hmm. and um, I can stand behind them if if somebody's coming in and and getting some service from them. Um, so but you have also some wonderful speakers on you yeah. know new age thinking and spiritualism. Mm -hmm. Spirit, uh, that's wrong. It's spiritual enlightenment. I like that. <laughs> Spiritualism is another thing altogether. Yeah, I mean, there's there's some things on just holistic health, and yes. there's things on different things about metaphysical uh, well-being and about kind of um, living to your full potential. So there's a nice wide range of yeah, things. People will think about, well, you know, they, they make fun of things like meditation. <laughs> <laughs> no, true. You know, in the, and uh, a lot of comedians Mm -hmm. uh, you know, make fun of uh, fun of it, and uh, it's something that's very good for you. Yeah, yeah, and um, you know, Oprah meditated, and um, look what look where it got her. <laughs> Steve Jobs meditated. Yeah, look where it got him. That's right. So um, yeah, meditation makes a world of difference. It sure does. It, but but what I really like here is that there are presentations all day long mm -hmm. in one of the rooms. Right. And then there's one room where you have. People who sell things, um, things. Yeah, so we have our exhibitors. So some of them are giving services like the readers. We've got energy healers. We've got chiropractor. Yeah. We've got massage therapists. So there's a nice range. And then they also have um, products. So we have uh, crystal vendors. We've got uh, meditation mm -hmm. cush cushions. Um, jewelry, um, there's a wide variety of things. Uh, imports from India, so. That's yeah. all good. It's all, it's fun, it's really What's really, really fun. good about it is also you, uh, this year you have some nice, music, wonderful musicians uh, with me in the studios are Jared and Shauna Namaste. Yes. How are you? We're doing great. We, we yeah. say you're gonna replay for us in a little while? Yeah. We would love to. Okay, we're gonna watch a movie and then we'll come back to you guys in just a little bit. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. And okay, so let's watch this uh, little clip, film clip. Film always helps because television is movement, movement, movement. Yeah. So the video is uh, actually uh, stills of the festival, so you kind of get a feel for what it's like when oh, you're so there. Oh, so we're going to stills. All right. Well, it's a video, but it's a video of stills. Okay, picture, it's a video so. of stills. Okay, so it's <laughs> it's a succession of moving stills. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, I won't argue with that. All right. Let's have a look at this. This is the Healing Arts Festival, either last year or the year before, right?
final yoga movement, uh, Sadasana. <laughs> yeah, I want a whole class in that. Yeah, they were actually doing some I sound healing. I try to do healing. it every night correctly, ah. but it doesn't work. <laughs> so Shauna and Jared, uh, you are um, musicians, uh, obviously, and you sing. Yeah. Cool. And you're going to sing us a song? Yeah, we'd love to play you a song. We're, uh, our band name is Love Eternal. Love Eternal. And we just moved here from Hawaii, from the big island of Hawaii. Well, you got out just in time. Well, we, 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 <laughs> we evacuated. We were front row for one of the most amazing sights of uh, nature we've ever seen. Wow. Um, and uh, us and our three kids ended up here in Sacramento. Here with you. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome Thank you so to much. This place. Um, I was only going to be here a couple of years, and um, that was in 1982. Oh, right. <laughs> so there's something here that's magical. You can never leave. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome <laughs> to the Hotel California. All right. Yeah, so we're going to play a song for you called Sleeping. And um, original. an original music. Most of our the music we play is original. And um, we'll just play it for you. Oh, cool. All right. I was sleeping Now I'm awake While I was sleeping hey, hey. I made some mistakes I must have hurt you I can see it on your Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Shauna. That's quite Jared. wonderful. And it would be Love Eternal if you could play that everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Love Eternal. <laughs> Great. Oh, this is a, an amazing event. So you'll be playing at the event, right? Yes. Oh, yes. We right. play on Saturday. 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 We play on Saturday. That'll be September 22nd from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Shauna, they're going to play all those hours. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Love Eternal. The whole time. No stopping. All day, all night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's got a wonderful event, and um, so 
you know, and the uh, this uh, Scottish Rite Temple is almost uh, right near the uh, state university. By Sac State University, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right out the front door, boom, there it is. Yeah. I have been there before. They've got great parking, nice tree-lined lot. I love it there. It's a really nice facility. Yeah. And it's near the river, too, so if you go crazy, you can just <laughs> jump in. <laughs> yeah. Don't know. I'm just, just joking about that. <laughs> At any rate, it's a, it's a fascinating thing. I think that what I really like is, is that every hour or so, you can either go in and hear uh, music or you can go to one of these talks. And I just want to touch on some ta these sure, talks because, sure. you know, I mean, Accessing Your Dream Portal mm -hmm. with uh, Marilyn Lawrence. Um, that's a very interesting idea about, you know, you, we, we talk to dreams to other people, and but to have uh, to get some expert advice on how to understand those dreams and get a sense of what dreams are. Uh, and I some people don't remember their dreams, so it's also about actually being conscious of what those dreams are. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it, it, there's a lot of different interesting things that you can learn about, and uh, most of the presentations are experiential, so they'll do mm -hmm. some little activity with you so that you can really kind of understand oh, what good. they're teaching you. So. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. It's good, good. I love this a lot about calligraphy because I've taken calligraphy classes myself and found that it's very relaxing and very enjoyable and then and then oh I don't know maybe for three weeks my handwriting looks really great <laughs> <laughs> but uh, here's another one here three centers of being awakening into our empathic nature wow, that's a wonderful title mm -hmm. and finding empathy in your life and getting a sense of um, the duality of your nature is is uh, very very important so where are we going to go to when to get all of this you're going to go to the scottish right masonic center <laughs> to go to the healing arts festival that's right september 22nd 23rd all right jared could you take us away yeah we, thank we you shauna here we go love you I take this guitar in my hand And I set forth a prayer across this land For peace everlasting For joy sustaining For love surpassing All human understanding So I take this guitar in my hand And I set forth a thousand prayers across this land yeah, For peace everlasting For joy sustaining 